I have a great many names, though when on leave I tend to go by Zhong Li. And you, traveler, what name will you be signing on this contract? Nothing can be accomplished without rules or standards. No matter if it is mortals or adepti, everyone has their place. This rule is what keeps Liyue in peace. We can discuss matters that fall outside of our contract, too. After all, I have been on this land for a time, and have come to know a thing or two. Of course, I do hope you can do some things for me as well. That would only be fair.
is Liyue's treasure. It is the blood that runs through her heart. As for whether your own heart shines like gold, we will have to wait and see. To think of it, there will be a lot of interesting news to be heard the next time we gather for drinks. Care to join me when the time comes, traveler? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Why is it that once you finally get a break, rather than taking a rest, you instead come to me?
the god of contracts. Have you heard of him? He has an impressive memory. He remembers the name of every person he comes across, and the date that every ship built in Liyue set sail. After all, only in being able to do so can he memorize all of the contracts he holds. With that said, not every memory is a happy one. My power is growing, and so with it grows the burden on my body. I'm okay. My structure is not the same as that of normal people. Please, do not worry yourself. That rascal from Snezhnaya has yet to depart from Liyue? <laughs> no matter. Just let me know if he gives you any trouble. I shall deal with the matter swiftly. that I've known you, 
I've come to glean some information about your character and principles. Your decisions hold my trust. We should look for a place to take shelter. I'll be fine, but we don't want you catching a cold. Everything comes from nothing, and that which is small becomes large one step at a time. While I've lived many years, I'm not inflexible enough to be incapable of appreciating youthful trends. Your taste always sets others at ease. Seems my strength is returning. Not a lot, but enough. Don't trouble yourself. This place will do just fine. We can sit down and take our time chatting.
So you're interested in my past? I have many stories to tell. What fills an ordinary person with intrigue is but an aspect of daily life for me. You have a talent for many pursuits, as well as a boldness of spirit. To me, each day spent with you is as valuable as gold. You should know that all power comes at a price. For every bit of power you gain, so too do you gain more responsibility. never heard my explanations on the subject, and yet you still avoided every taboo. Perhaps some tacit connection is formed between us during our journey together. This topic is a bit unexpected. I don't know where to start. My story is long and will take up a significant amount of your time. But should you be willing to listen, we can talk over cups of tea. find a free day to take our time and talk. A millennium's worth of stories cannot be told in one moment. As long as you agree to accept it, 
I have witnessed much from you. Our time is boundless. A carefree life relies upon a resolute and clear heart. Being with you like this is truly a lively and joyous experience. For those that live too long, the friends of days gone by and scenes from their adventures live on in their memories. As such, I have no regrets in meeting you, friend. Should the day ever come that we are not together, you will continue to shine like gold in my memories.